What is up, Vinyl Community, VC? How's it going? Uh, Danny Valderrama, 69, back here again. <clears throat> um, just to do a quick uh, VCLT video again. Um, I am dripping in VCLT at the moment. Let me just sort that out. Um, <clears throat> got a parcel in the post this morning. Um, from uh, Mr. Damien, Mr. Ned's Atomic Dustbin 1. Um, dude sorted me out, good and proper with this one. Uh, he told me a couple of things that were in there. Um, um, but he, he said he was going to put a couple of other things in there. And he didn't, he lied. He lied to me through the medium of song and or dance. And... Uh, but I, I, I uh, I'm, I'm impressed by his lies. He's done well. Uh, in the background, um, we're playing Screeching Weasel. My brain hurts. On lookout, original. I, I've actually been playing it a lot recently. I really like it. I don't know why. I didn't like it originally, but I don't know. It's grown on me now. Anyway. Let's get to what Damien sent me um, in my parcel this morning. So first up, we got a 10 inch. It's uh, Jello Biafra and the Guantanamo School of Medicine. Uh, it's their 10 inch uh, Shocky Pie. This is the um, latest release by these lot. Um, they've got a new album coming out pretty soon. Uh, I'll be seeing them this year at Rebellion. They'll be playing the Rebellion Festival this year, so I'll be seeing them there. Played this this morning. Um, it's fucking brilliant. Um, the, the title track, Shocky Pie, is... Um, if you've never heard Guantanamo School of Medicine, Jell-O-B, from the Guantanamo School of Medicine, they are the next step from the Dead Kennedys, really, I, I think, anyway. Um, they, they're very, they've got that surf sound and that... Uh, jingly jangle sort of sound that Dead Kennedys had. Um, the the B side on this Barack Star Obama is um, is awesome. The other one, We Occupy, uh, is a bit of a sort of scary tune. Uh, it's a bit strange, but uh, the whole EP, three tracks on it, awesome stuff. Really good stuff. Um, got the the insert there with all the lyrics on, etc. And um, I'll show you the taste because it's the label there and uh, of course <laughs> alternative tentacles awesome stuff awesome stuff um, so that's 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 that next up I'm going to see this band in April I've seen them live in Manchester uh, Mast Intruder this is their debut album on Fat Wreck, uh, self-titled Mast Intruder. Um, it's on Fat Wreck and, and Red Scare Records. Um, this is awesome. This is brilliant. Um, pop punk. Um, all the songs are either about breaking into people's houses and stealing stuff or girls. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say I'll be going to see these in, in, in April. 19th of April I've seen these so looking forward to that so thank you very much for that demo awesome next up um, I've never heard of this band uh, Damien sent me the um, mp3s and I've just been fucking loving this album really good um, so I was like well you can get me a copy of that dude send me a copy and I think he sent me his copy I'm not sure but this is Dale Landlord uh, with the album Dream Homes um, on No Idea Records and uh, check this vinyl out green swirl pretty cool looking jazz nice So like I say, I've been listening to the MP3s of that, uh, and uh, I've been loving this album. It's been, it, you know, it's been growing on me more and more. When I first heard it, it was like, oh, this a bit, 
I don't know, I just didn't like the vocals at first, but the more and more I've listened to it, I've got into it more and more, so if you can, if you can check out Dear Landlord, Dream Homes. Next up, this has now completed all the vinyl records, actual albums, by this band uh, for me. Um, so thank you very much for that demo. Um, this is Snuff with the album Num Nuts. Um, now, this album came out um, in the late 90s, I think, I think it was like 99. Um, I may be wrong with that, it may be early 2000s. But um, when it first came out, I, I, it just wasn't uh, for me. I'm trying to find the date when it came out, sorry. Um, No, oh, can't see one, sorry. When it first came out, I didn't really enjoy this album. Um, it, uh, there was like one or two songs on it that were okay. Over time and listening to more and more stuff and more of the other albums that I'd never heard before, etc. I really like this album. It, it's grown on me a lot. Um, there's some songs on here that are just brilliant. And I've seen them live twice last year. I got to see more of the songs off this album live and hear them live and um, it's just made me appreciate this album a lot more really so um, if you can check out the song Pixies, uh, Marbles, uh, Fuck Off is on this album as well, yeah Fuck Off and uh, Super of the Day is a really good song as well but uh, I'll be doing a snuff video soon because I've got this now I'll do one, I'll try it, I might do it later on today if I've got time um, just showing all my snuff stuff uh, because I've got, like I said, I've got all the albums now. So, cheers for that, dude. <coughs> <coughs> right, these next two, I had no idea these were coming, and um, when I opened this package when I got back from the post office, I saw these in there and I was like, what? Just what? So this is amazing, so this one is Propagandi, How to Clean Everything. This is their first full length album, I think I'm getting that right, first full length album. Um, on Fat Wreck. This is an amazing album, this is my favourite Propagandi album. A lot of people like Today's Empires and Tomorrow's Ashes are... Um, Pokey, po Pokemon, it's not Pokemon, but uh, Pokey, Pokey, City Limits, isn't it? That one. Uh, but I love, I love Fat Wreck Propaganda. Um, when they leave Fat Wreck, uh, like, well, Damien sent me this, How to Clean Everything, the first album. He also sent me though, this, the second album, uh, Let's Talk More Rock. Now, as much as I love this album, this is the first thing I ever heard by Propaganda. This album, the guitarist in, in the Crash Match, uh, Danny, uh, the other Danny, um, sort of came around to my house really giddy with this CD and was like, you have to listen to this, this is amazing. And although I do like How to Clean Everything, it's like that much more I like How to Clean Everything than this. This is a brilliant album as well. It's got some fantastic songs on this album. Um, this, though, after this, like, I like Today's Empire, Tomorrow's Ashes, and I quite like some of the other stuff. Um, I know Damien's more into the older stuff, like um, the new album, uh, Supporting Cast, and, and, uh, and that sort of stuff. For me, I just I really enjoy the early stuff by Prop. The early props look like when they're on fat, brilliant. When they leave fat, they're just to get a little bit too metally for me. Um, but owning these two, seriously, mate. <laughs> you've made a stone of uh, you've made a stone of very happy. Well done. Um, so I can't. I just you know. Wrong way, dude. 
can't thank you enough, man. Uh, right, I'm off to go smoke a giant and listen to some propaganda. That is my Saturday now. Sorted out. Booyah. Uh, thank you, Damien, for the uh, VCLT. Um, like I say, I'll probably be coming back real soon and do a snuff video. Uh, my contest is still open. Um, I'm going to try and get back and do some contest entries. I know I want to do Chris Dixieland Farms and uh, um, I want to do Adams as well, um, AJW Golf's subliminal one. I just have to find the time to watch all your videos, dude, but I'm going to, I'll be coming back and do some videos soon and all that just So, until next time, see you in a bit.